what's up YouTube in this video we're going to be using the Raspberry Pi 4 to play Dreamcast games one of the most underrated consoles made if you have a Pi 4 and decent cooling you're gonna love this one stick around Welcome back to Kelly Tech. As you can see, I'm using a Raspberry Pi running Raspbian OS. Just to give you an idea of what hardware I'm using, I bought the Raspberry Pi 4 desktop kit. And with the kit, you get Raspberry Pi 4, Model B, 4 gigabyte board. You get the keyboard and the mouse, uh, HDMI cables, you get two of them, um, you get your power supply, your case, uh, you get a beginner's guide and an SD card with noobs already, you know, Raspbian noobs already installed on it, so it makes it really simple. You just put it together and plug it up and you're ready to go. But when I got all that I noticed that the case was not good enough for cooling so I bought the flirt case mind you it does get hot but seems to work great for my overclock to 2 gigahertz open up your web browser type in redream.io it will bring you to this web page click download Now, you're going to want to look here in the stable releases and click the Raspberry Pi icon. Show me in folder. Alright, so we have it. So, let's just extract this right here extract here alright so now we're left with this folder now in order to start this right here on script you just hit double click redream and click execute and here the program starts now it's not going to work if you don't have any Dreamcast games. But I happen to have some Dreamcast games that I actually own. So it's legit. It's working. I'm going to exit back out of here. Now we need to get a controller connected via Bluetooth. So whatever Bluetooth controller you're using, connect. I'm using an Xbox One S controller so I'm gonna add a device put my Xbox controller into pairing mode click pair alright now my Xbox controller is paired and a lot of people have uh, problems connecting Xbox controllers to uh, the Pi but there is a workaround for that I might actually make a separate video on that okay but and now the only thing left to do is put some games on a USB drive and stick the USB drive into your Pi you can transfer the files over to the SD card if you like or you can just keep them on your USB so I literally put the files on the USB drive plugged it in and it recognized it as you can see I did nothing but plug it in the USB drive with the games on it so we can start again execute 
And here's Redream. I forgot how much I enjoyed playing the Dreamcast until I uh, installed Redream. But just to give you an idea, we play Egg here. Top left hand corner, I've got the frames per second, and they don't drop below 60, maybe 59. You know, this thing runs great once you have it overclocked to 2.0 gigahertz. Um, yeah, this game, Egg, I've been waiting to play this for a minute. I'm going to skip past this. I've already got a save point. And it plays very well. I mean, I, I have no complaints. It actually plays rather well. I remember trying to play emulated games, uh, Dreamcast games before, and nowhere near this good. This is rather good. But as you can see, the game plays pretty smooth. Let's try another game. So let's try Sonic Adventure. Everybody remembers Sonic Adventure because that's what came with the Dreamcast. <laughs> yeah, I totally remember this. So let's go back up to games. And we've got... Sword of the Berserk Guts Rage. Haven't played this in a while either. Man. These games were fun. Dreamcast was totally underrated. I mean, it had Fantasy Star Online. It was... I think it might have been the first console that actually had, you know, online capabilities. Could be wrong, but I think so. And this guy's sword is just altogether way too huge, but it was a fun game. Simple interface, guys. It plays everything I've thrown at it so far, so compatibility is really good with this uh, emulator. So, a little bit of gameplay to show you guys that it actually works really well. So, that's pretty much it. I mean, there there's really nothing to this. You just put the games on a USB drive, pop it in. Start this up, make sure uh, Bluetooth controller is connected, and I mean, you are going to have hours and hours of fun. Now, probably wondering where do I get the games if you don't have any. In order to get these games, 
open up a web browser go to coolrom.com go to roms and here we are Sega Dreamcast then you pick a game. Let's go for oh, Soul Calibur. And as you can see, it started downloading. Also, as you can see, the download speed is extremely slow, but you will get what you want. So you could, you know, download five or six games, go to bed, or just come back later, and they'll be done. So that is how you can get your games from CoolROM. Now, there is a lot of sites, but this is one that I use quite a bit. And if you go to archive.com, I believe they have the whole ROM set in there. But oof, is that going to take a long time to download? And there's arcadepunks.com also. That's torrent based, I believe. But you get the idea. If you just want a handful of games, I recommend Cool Realm. But that is the gist of it. I know a lot of people got their Pi 4 and they were all excited. And there wasn't much you could do with it. Like there was no support. So it's good to see that a lot of stuff is now being supported on the Pi 4. Well, I hope this helped you out. hope you liked it. If you did... Like and subscribe. And as always, have a tech day.